As GOP delegates head to this year's Republican National Convention, party officials have abruptly scrapped plans for the event's opening day due to Tropical Storm Isaac, which continues to move through the Caribbean, bearing down on the Sunshine State. Security is in place, and the convention will be gaveled into session on Monday as scheduled. But the day's events have been postponed until Tuesday. Florida's GOP Governor Rick Scott declared a state of emergency Saturday as the storm continued its track toward the Florida Keys, and he won't speak at the convention as originally planned. Uh, we're focused on the storm surge, we're focused on the wind, uh, and we're just focused on uh, all the entire impact for the state. Mitt Romney was in Ohio Saturday, hitting President Obama on the economy and trying to narrow the gender gap with an appeal to female entrepreneurs. I want you to be successful. Our campaign is about making it easier for entrepreneurs, women and men, to start businesses, to grow businesses. We will champion small business because we know that's where our jobs come from. President Obama will step into the spotlight in a little over a week when the GOP convention has ended and Democrats gather in Charlotte, North Carolina. In an exclusive interview with the Associated Press, President Obama said Mitt Romney is locked into extreme positions on economic and social issues that he'll push for if he's elected. I don't think that he would back off a $5 trillion tax cut at this point. He's made that the centerpiece of his economic argument. Uh, I don't think that uh, if Congress presented him with uh, some of the items that are in the Republican uh, platform uh, at this convention uh, that would, for example, uh, entirely roll back uh, women's control over uh, their reproductive health, that he would stand in the way. Folks, I don't have to tell you, you all know. The menacing weather has led Vice President Joe Biden to cancel some of his plans to campaign in Florida this week, but top GOP officials say it hasn't caused any Republican state delegations to alter their travel plans. Barring further postponements, this week's convention will end on Thursday when Mitt Romney gives his prime-time acceptance speech. Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press.